In this presentation, we will look at Epicor 10 to 600 at the Data Dictionary Viewer, but many of the concepts are the same as in earlier versions of Epicor. This possibly overlooked tool can be a very handy when you need to understand Epicor's data. You can review information about Epicor's fields as well as custom fields that you previously added to the database. Today we'll review different areas of this menu item and how to use it and keep it updated. The Data Dictionary is a handy reference tool available for your use to review table and field information. I plan to go through each of these topics what is the data dictionary viewer, searching for different table types, viewing table information, viewing field information, printing field definitions, and then having a live look into the data dictionary viewer in Epicor at the end. So what is the data dictionary viewer? The path to get there, you use the system setup, system maintenance, and the menu item data dictionary viewer. It can be used to find and review details of each field and table within the Epicor database. Review this information to better understand the purpose and data values of each field. The data dictionary viewer can help you identify the fields and tables you want for customization or a custom report. You can also use this program during upgrades in order to view the changes in the database structure between your current version and a previous version. Once you open the Data Dictionary Viewer, you have three choices to select from. As a table schema type, you can choose system, product, and intermediate. If you know the name of the table, you select the schema type and type in the table name. If you need to search, click the table button to search for a table. Keep in mind that selecting the table schema type on the main screen does not keep the same selection in the search screen. Notice here on the main screen, system is chosen, but product is chosen when we click the table button, but we can choose system again if, if we're searching for a system table. So here we can see that the area referenced by number one shows the description for the tables when we're viewing the table information. The number two shows the indexes for the table, which will help you out when joining tables in a query. In the area where number three is shown, you can choose the display format to be either schema or alphabetic. Schema order is the order which the fields are displayed in the database. And where number four is, you can expand the tree view to see the fields listed in schema or alphabetic order. In the detail view under the fields tab, we can see all the information on the field that is selected. The field that's selected is the one in blue on the left side in the tree. We can see the format, the number of decimals, initial value, label, etc. In addition, we can see a description when it's provided by Epicor. <clears throat> Sometimes they only put a variation of the field name in the description. At times, you may want to view the field information in the list view for sorting or grouping, etc. Or, for example, you know that the field you need information on is a date field. But well, which date field? You can sort by the data type and find all date fields to narrow down your search for which date field. Finally, 
if you want a hard copy or file copy of the table and field definitions, you can get one. Using the actions menu, you can choose to print one table, some tables, or all tables and their field definitions. You can save the file as a PDF to search for fields using the PDF viewer. If you add a lot of custom fields, you may want to reprint the table each time you add a field rather than keeping an Excel file with this information in it. If you do not get your print preview, try switching the print field definitions menu item to classic view instead of kinetic view. I would always suggest a preview before printing in case you accidentally selected all tables and that's not really what you wanted. So here's one page from the part table after printing the field definitions. On the left side, you can see the basic properties of the fields. And on the right side, the full description about each field. So now we can take a live look at the data dictionary viewer in Epicor 10. So here I've opened the data dictionary viewer in Epicor 10, and we can search for any table. And by default here, the product is coming up, which is most of the time what you're going to use. And so we can see the first table, ABC code. And you can see it gives you a description of the table, the indexes that are used, and you can view the fields in schema or alphabetic order. And then you can switch to the fields tab and you can view the information about each different field, format, initial value, decimals, etc. and the description. And then if you want to go to the list view, as I mentioned, you can sort and group here just like you can in any other grid and you can also sort here by the field format if you want to look for which which checkbox yes or no do i which field do i need to refer to for example so today my presentation was on using the data dictionary viewer using this menu item along with the Epicor field help and SQL, if you have the skills, can help you to get to know more about the structure of your tables and fields. Thank you, everyone.